What's better, training your entire body each session or training different body parts on separate days? Which style of training will help you burn more calories each session, leading to greater fat loss? How about if you're trying to build muscle? Will having a separate chest day, a back day, and a leg day allow you to focus more on those specific muscles that you're trying to target, ultimately helping you build more muscle and grow? Or can full body training be just as effective for muscle growth? Well, I'm gonna answer all of these questions today, and you might be a little surprised by some of these answers. So let's begin with the pros and cons of each, starting first with split training, which is also referred to as a bro split. And it's usually the default type of training used by bodybuilders. With a very basic split training routine, you'll be setting up your workout in a way where you're focusing on only one muscle or one muscle group per day. So a typical basic split training routine might look something like this. Monday would be your chest day, Tuesday your back day, Wednesday would be your leg day, then Thursday would be shoulders and abs, and then Friday would be biceps and triceps. Then finally, Saturday and Sunday would be your two off days, and you would start the whole routine again on Monday by going back to chest. With full body training, on the other hand, it's pretty obvious that you're gonna be working your entire body every single session. That means unlike the bro split training, you'll be working your chest, back, arms, legs, and abs all in one day. Usually, a typical full body training routine will have you working out three times a week with one day off in between each session. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday would be full body workouts, and then the rest of the week you would have off. So which one of these is better for building muscle? Well, if we wanna build muscle and increase our lean body mass faster, we wanna focus on increasing the volume of our workouts. And volume is measured by four factors. Intensity, which is the amount of weight you're lifting. Frequency, which essentially is how many days a week you're working a muscle group. And then there's of course the total amount of sets and reps that you're performing. Increasing any of these four factors will help you build more muscle. Now, immediately you may notice an advantage that full body workouts provide over a basic split training routine. They require fewer days at the gym, only three instead of five, and you'll be targeting all the muscles in your body three times a week every week as opposed to split training where you'll only be targeting each muscle once a week. That means that we'll be increasing that frequency factor much higher with full body training. And even if you do spend an entire workout session really beating up your chest with a split training routine, it shouldn't take longer than a maximum of three to four days for your chest to recover, which means you'll miss out on potential muscle gains since you'll be waiting seven days to work your chest again instead of four days. So to make up for this lack of frequency, other split training routines have grown in popularity, like push-pull routines, opposing body part routines, and upper and lower routines. A push-pull routine focuses on grouping your push muscles like your chest, shoulders, and triceps separately from your pull muscles like back and biceps. A typical routine might look something like this. Day one, chest, shoulders, and triceps. Day two, legs and abs. Day three, back and biceps. And day four, you would take off. Then you would repeat, which would allow you to hit each muscle group twice a week. Now, with an opposing body part routine, you would group two opposite muscle groups like your chest and back into one workout, and each time you perform a set for your chest, you would immediately perform another set with no break for your back. By supersetting exercises like bench press and rows together, you can still lift heavy for each exercise since each exercise works different muscles, and you could save time by pairing the two sets together. An example routine would be on day one, chest and back. Day two would be your leg day where you would be pairing hamstring and quad movements together. And day three would be arms, in which you would work your shoulders and pair bicep and tricep movements together. This would again allow you to work each muscle twice a week. Finally, an upper and lower routine would simply involve working your entire upper body one day and your entire lower body on the next day. A typical routine would be Monday, upper body, Tuesday, lower body, Wednesday would be a day off, then Thursday, upper body, Friday, lower body, and then you would take the weekend off. Keep in mind there are many other ways that you could set up a split training routine, but as you can see, these three examples allow you to work each muscle twice a week, which is better than once a week, but still less than the three times a week that we can get from a full body routine. But even though full body training will still give us a little more frequency, before picking a winner, we have to look at the other three factors that determine volume, which again are intensity, sets, and reps. This is where full body shows its first potential disadvantage. With a full body workout routine, you'll be limiting the total number of exercises you could perform per muscle group to one or two at the most. 
If you did more like, let's say, four exercises for each muscle group, you would be at the gym all day long, and you would be so exhausted at the end that you would probably never want to do that workout again. On the other hand, with an opposing body part split routine on, let's say, a chest and back day, you could do four or five exercises for each muscle group, especially since you'll be supersetting them, which will require less break time. This will allow you to do more sets and reps for the specific body part you're targeting during each session. So let's pretend that on full body days, you're doing two exercises per body part, three sets each, so six sets per body part total, and you're doing that three times a week. That means at the end of the week, you'll have a total of 18 sets per body part. Now let's pretend with an opposing body part split training routine, you're doing four exercises per body part, times three sets would give us 12 sets per body part, and if we do that twice a week for each muscle, we get a total of 24 sets per body part at the end of the week. As you can see, if we set up our split training routine in a way in which we're able to work each body part twice a week instead of just once a week, we can match or even exceed the amount of volume you'll get from a full body routine. But you have to keep in mind, it does come at a cost. You'll be spending six days a week at the gym rather than the three days a week that you would have spent with a full body program. Now, even though most people don't wanna to have to spend more days at the gym, the other advantage that comes from being able to do more exercises per split training session is that it'll give you more variety in your routine. This is because an effective full body workout will mostly revolve around the major compound exercises that target many muscles at the same time, like squats, deadlifts, bench presses, overhead presses, and pull-ups. Even though these exercises are some of the best and most functional out there, you're most likely not gonna be doing too many isolation exercises like flies because otherwise, like I said, you'd be at the gym all day long. So a split training routine will make it easier to work on lagging muscle groups that need more of that individualized attention to grow. On top of that, another thing to consider is recovery. Some people will simply feel sore for longer and need more time to recover, while others will recover faster. If you're sore for three days every time that you do squats, you're gonna have a very tough time squatting every other day with a full body routine. So you'll definitely wanna consider that. Now, as far as fat loss, both routines can be set up in a way that'll help you elevate your heart rate higher and burn more fat. With a traditional five by five full body strength training routine and with a traditional do a set, take a break, split body routine, you're not gonna be burning an astronomical amount of calories because your heart rate will drop when you take a break in between each set but you can burn more calories from both your full body workouts and your split training workouts by incorporating supersets, drop sets, and circuits of back-to-back -back exercises. Like I said, really both can be just as effective for fat loss as long as you set up your workout with that goal in mind. So now that you understand the pros and cons of each of these workout styles, how do you decide which one is best for you? Well, to help you make a decision, I want you to ask yourself five questions. One, are you a beginner and have you spent enough time Practicing the major compound lifts like the squat, deadlift, bench press, overhead press, and barbell row. Because if you're a beginner who really hasn't, you may be much better off solidifying your form and execution with a full body program that incorporates these key compound exercises so that you could develop a very strong foundation. The second question is, how many days per week do you wanna spend at the gym? Some people are simply too busy to get to the gym five to six days a week, and even if you can, maybe you just don't wanna be at the gym that much. If that's the case, you'll probably benefit more from a full body routine. The third question is, if you've been training for some time now, have you noticed any lagging muscle groups that you'd like to improve, like your calves, chest, rear delts, or forearms? If you wanna isolate these muscles to work on catching them up to speed to the rest of your body, you'll probably be better off going with split training. Now the fourth question is, how long does it take for you to recover? If you're someone that's ready to work the same muscle groups every other day because your body recovers quickly, then full body training could be a good fit. On the other hand, if you're always sore for three to four days at a time, you may wanna give your muscles more time to recover in between sessions with split training. Last but definitely not least, you'll wanna ask yourself, what is your goal? If your goal is to become a bodybuilder and you wanna build a perfectly proportional physique so that the size of your calves match the size of your biceps, you'll probably be better off with split training. On the other hand, if you just wanna burn some fat, increase your conditioning, or you're a busy guy that just wants to stay in shape and be healthy without spending a ton of time at the gym, a full body routine will probably be your best bet. That's about it guys. I really hope this video has helped you out. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. 
Also, if you want to skip all the researching and trial and error that goes into developing a perfect plan for your body and you want a done for you system that'll help you hit your goals, whether that's building more muscle or burning more stubborn body fat, then visit my website where I have programs and challenges set up that are helping my clients lose pound after pound of fat while replacing it with solid lean muscle. With our programs, you'll get a goal-specific meal plan that can be customized based on your preferences. You'll also get a weekly workout plan that comes with a full video exercise library, a recipe book, and an accountability coach that'll be there to answer any questions you have and be there to guide you through the entire process. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description or you could visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.